Measuring the internal and external diameter of the PVC pipe. Use external jaws to measure the external diameter. Record the data on the worksheet. Use internal jaws to measure the internal diameter. Record the data in the worksheet. Next you will see how to use the vernier caliper. Hi, I'm Bob Welds, and this is how to read a metric vernier caliper. There are different kinds of vernier scales designed to do different jobs, but they all work pretty much the same way. Today, we're going to look at a metric vernier designed to measure to the nearest 1 50th of a millimeter. That is 0 0.02 millimeters. See how 1 divided by 50 equals 0 0.02? Now, the first thing we're going to measure with our vernier caliper is nothing. That's right, we'll measure zero. It may sound like a silly thing to do, but we're going to do it for a couple of reasons. Let's do it and you'll see what I mean. You see, when the calipers are fully closed, measuring zero width, you can see the places where you can take measurements. These surfaces are where the two parts of the calipers line up. You'll also notice that there are gaps in a couple of places on the calipers. These are not places to take measurements, so don't mess up by putting something in one of those gaps. Now, with the calipers closed, you can see where you're supposed to read the main scale. There are two scales on a vernier caliper, the main scale and the vernier scale. I'm going to erase the vernier scale and let you just look at the main scale first. You see, the zero mark points to the place where you're supposed to read the main scale. Right now, it points to zero. Do you see that? Good. Let's read the main scale first. It's super easy. I'll close the calipers on this workpiece, and we'll see what the main scale says. These marks represent whole millimeters. So the reading is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 millimeters. Just be sure to look at the zero mark and not at this part. That's a common mistake, and it'll give you the wrong reading. So the reading is 5 millimeters. That's pretty easy, right? Before we move on to the vernier scale, let me show you what it's going to tell us, okay? Let's say when we looked at the main scale, the reading wasn't right on the mark like it was last time. Let's say it looked like this. See how the mark is between 5 and 6 millimeters? It looks like it's a little beyond halfway. You see, the vernier scale is going to tell us almost exactly how far over the mark is. Okay, you're ready to see the vernier scale, but I'm only going to draw the main part of it first. Now, you see the mark's number from 0 to 10. Each of these marks represents a tenth of a millimeter. They're going to tell us the tenths of a millimeter, and here's how they work. Look carefully, and you will notice that one of the marks on the vernier scale lines up better with the main scale marks than the others. Which one looks like it lines up best to you? I'll zoom in and let you look. Let me show you a hint about where to look on the vernier scale to see where the marks line up. You see how our pointer was a little more than halfway between marks? That means the vernier scale will line up a little past halfway. Now, do you see the mark that lines up better than the rest? It looks like the 7 is lining up. The 7 means 0.7 millimeters. But this caliper can measure even more accurately than that. I'll redraw all the marks and let you look again. Now, see that the mark next to the 7 lines up best. But what is the value of that mark? Remember how this caliper had a label that said 0 0.02 on it? That is what each mark is, 0 0.02 millimeters. Let's count up on the vernier scale to be sure we've got it. This 6 would be 0 0.60. The next mark, 0 0.62, then 0 0.64, 0 0.66, 0 0.68, 0 0.70, then 
5.72. The reading is 5.72 millimeters. Pretty neat, huh? I'm going to let you try a few. We're going to start off easy. I'm going to draw a caliber that only reads to the nearest tenth of a millimeter, just to be sure you're with me. I'm going to show you the overall picture first, then zoom in to let you see the vernier better. Okay? When you see Sparky's pause, pause the video and write down what you think the reading is. The reading is 16.2 millimeters. Let me step you through it just in case you missed something. Here are the whole millimeters from the main scale. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. And you see how the reading is just past the 16 mark? So we'll look to the front of the vernier scale for where the marks line up. And there it is, at the point 0.2 mark. So the reading is 16.2 millimeters. Got it? Okay, let's go for broke and see if we can read the full 0 0.02 millimeter resolution. Ready for this one? Again, I'll show the whole caliper, then zoom in to let you see the vernier better. Here we go. Pause the video and write down your answer. Now, I know this is hard, so before I give the answer, I'm going to point to the place where the vernier lines up. Does that help? Take a minute and check your answer and be sure it's correct. The reading is 19.16 millimeters. Okay, let's try another one. This time I won't give any hints, but I will zoom way in so you can see the calipers really well. If you get this one, you pretty much know what's going on. Pause the video and make sure you can read the whole millimeters. Did you say 12 millimeters? Okay, let's do the hard part and read the vernier scale. I'll zoom in and let you take a closer look. But first, remember the trick? See how the reading is beyond halfway between the marks? That means we need to look on the high side of the vernier scale. I'll slide the view down there and let you look. Now here we go. Pause the video and look carefully. The mark that lines up best is here. Now, what number is that? This is the 0.7 mark. So, 0 0.72, 4, 6. The answer is 12.76. That's about all the time we have for now. Vernier calipers are hard to read, but with a little practice, I'm sure you'll be able to do it without too much trouble. I'm Bob Welds, and these are Weld Notes. Music